story of Agastya. Lord Shiva and Parvati were going to be married on Mount Kailash. The entire population of Devas and Rishis had gathered there. Because of this, the northern land tipped down, unable to bear the weight of so many Devas and Rishis. Lord Shiva asked Sage Agastya to go to the Pothikai Ranges. These ranges were in the southern land. Lord Shiva sent him there in order to balance the weight. Agastya was very short in stature, but his might was so great. That is why he was sent. Agastya was sad to go. He wanted to stay and witness the Lord's wedding. Shiva came to know about his sadness. He made good arrangements for him. He granted Agastya a boon that he would still be able to see the wedding from the southern land. From within his matted locks, he took the river Kauvery. Lord Shiva filled it in Agastya's Kamandala. He bid Kauvery to flow wherever Agastya pointed. Then Agastya reached the south. He travelled to various Shiva's thalams. Now he was happy. Another Asura, Sura Paduman, had immense powers. Lord Indra had run away in fear from his Indra Logam. He reached Sirgazi in the southern region of India. He prayed to Lord Shiva. He created a beautiful garden there where he worshipped Lord Shiva. He worshipped him with flowers from his garden. But at the same time, Lord Varuna also feared Sura Paduman. He did not shower rains due to this. Hence, Indra's garden and the whole land suffered from the lack of water. Sage Narad met the Indran of the river Kauvery. He told him a secret. He told him that Lord Shiva had once filled the river Kauvery in Agastya's Kamandalam. Indran prayed to Lord Ganesh. He told him about the problem and asked for his help. Ganesh took the form of a crow. He sat on Agastya's Kamandalam, but tottered and fell down from it. Now Agastya lifted his hands. He did so to shoo away the crow. Shoo! <coughs> River Kauvery understood it as a signal for her to flow. Now the crow took the form of a small boy. Agastya started chasing the boy, trying hard to strike him on the head with his knuckles. Ganesh took his original form. Agastya was saddened that he had tried to strike Lord Ganesh. He started striking his own forehead with his knuckles. Ganesh stopped him and said that everybody who worships me in this manner will be blessed with wisdom. Once upon a time, there lived a Brahmin named Ramashastri in the village called Krishnapuram. One day he was rewarded.